I am Milani Kai. Thank you so much for joining me. The seasons of football, men in tights, it is upon us. And I was catching up with the Atlanta Falcons a couple of weeks ago, and I saw this fantastic story, and it made me want to move to the state of Montana. Joining us right now, we're going to talk a little bit of football. She used to work with the Athletic, and then she worked herself up to being a reporter for the Atlanta Falcons, just the Atlanta Falcons. I don't know how that worked out, but Tori <laughs> McElhaney, is it? Did I say it correctly? I've been practicing it. You did. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so happy. This is honestly maybe the first time that someone's got it right, right off the bat. Yeah, Tori McElhaney, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to jump to that story that you did on Troy Anderson that makes me want to move to Montana. <laughs> but but let's just start with the Falcons first. You are, you're a reporter for the Falcons. You get to be around men in tights all the time. <laughs> I'm a little jealous of you. However, let's just preview the Falcons real quick. The upcoming game, Friday, are they playing the Dolphins preseason? Sure are, yeah. What are the Falcons looking like while you're there in camp? There's some excitement buzzing. What's the vibe happening? Yeah, no. I, so I've been covering this team since 2020. And, and I'll say this, you know, this is my fourth training camp. And, and two of the four have been, you know, COVID protocols and all that kind of stuff. But I'll say this, seeing the fan base get so involved with what this team is doing right now has been so just refreshing for me to see. I feel like more than any other time than, that I've been around this team, right now is the time that people are as excited as I've seen them be in a very, very long time. And I think it, it's a testament to kind of what Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith have begun building in Atlanta. And I, honestly, I think everybody's just kind of excited to get to the season because they're looking ahead and being like, all right, like we're looking at the schedule and we can say, you know, on paper, it's a win here, it's a win here, it's a win here. And, and I think that's kind of palpable with the fan base right now. We're talking to Tori McElhaney. She's a reporter for the Atlanta Falcons, just making me jealous and whatnot. Uh, so <laughs> let, let's talk about the, you, you talk about that excitement and it's always mm -hmm. there. Uh, Atlanta Falcons fans sometimes feel like the excitement sometimes is there and there's a letdown. What looks different aside from the vibe? What technically looks different is the, is the quarterback situation, you know, what's happening is a line, offensive line look better, defensive mm -hmm. line. What looks looks better for you as you're watching this that that gets you more excited than you were past years yeah yeah no that's a good question because I think it's the totality of the team that they put together I mean for the first time in what feels like probably over two years this this front office has had money to play with towards the salary cap and they've been able to put money back into the defense and go out and get guys like Calais Campbell and David Onyemata and Bud Dupree and Jesse Bates the third. I mean, I could go on and on, but they've really invested heavily into some of these really high-end free agents, and I think that makes a difference. When you're looking at this team, I, I go back to, like, saying on paper, when you're looking at this team on paper, you're like, this is a better team than the Falcons have had in what feels like years. And so when you're looking at the scope of what this team can be, you're very hopeful, especially when you're kind of putting it up against the way that the NFC South looks right now. She has a front row seat. She's Tori McElhaney. She's a reporter for the Falcons. Um, when we come back from the break, I'm going to just hold you over because we've got to talk about this fantastic piece that you did on Troy Anderson, the 58th pick overall in 2022 for the Atlanta Falcons. And then, I, as promised, I told you why I'm going to give you the why as to why I decided that you needed to be on my <laughs> show tonight because you're a why girl as well. Okay, so and more Atlanta Falcons and we'll preview the uh, she's a UGA grad, so get her thoughts also on it. Could there be a three peat? You're listening to Milani Kai back with Tori McElhaney right after this. It is 8.45 on a Saturday evening. You're listening to Milani Kai Live on 95.5 WSB. We are talking all things uh, Atlanta Falcons with Tori McElhaney. She is a reporter for the Falcons, by the Falcons, all things Falcons, UGA grad. Thanks so much for being with us again, Tori. I'm glad you're here. Good to talk football with another woman. Oh, it's so great. I love it. And you're no stranger to football. Your dad grows, uh, you grew up with 17 years uh, of uh, your life. Your father did, is that when he was coaching high school football? So you were around it yeah. the whole, yeah. You wanted oh, to yeah. play? Did you ever want to play? Oh, of course. I, I told my dad I wanted to be a tight end for him, but he was like, <laughs> I don't think you're tall enough. <laughs> 
So we're, we're, we're talking we're talking Falcons. Falcons open up this Friday uh, preseason, and Tori will be covering that. Make sure you follow her on social media. She gives great reports, and one of the reasons she's here is I saw this. Two reasons. One is we'll talk about that in a second, but the for one reason is she did this great piece on Falcon, the Falcons' fifty eighth pick. Troy Anderson. Uh, I remember him um, when he was in the fort when he was uh, in the combines and he ran a four four two. What's he about six four? What's he about six three? Oh six, yeah, four? he's he's six six two six, six two six, six two. Three. Yeah, six two six three. So that was a big deal. So you decided to do this piece, uh, d- uh, develop that for us. How did you decide to go to Montana, which he played for Montana State, to do this long uh, piece that's just fascinating? Yeah, no, this is one of the most special pieces that I've ever gotten to work with. And it it was a group of about five of us. We had three videographers and um, one photographer. And we went up there and we kind of just told his story from start to finish. This is a kid who grew up on a cattle ranch in Dillon, Montana, a population of like just over 3,000. And and to see where he came from and to see what a guy like this means to the state of Montana, which honestly doesn't have a lot of NFL players in the league right now. I mean, it it was truly something special. And it it was so great because we would go to like coffee shops and the baristas would see that we were wearing Falcons gear. And they're like, do you know Troy Anderson? And we're like, yeah, no, we're here doing a piece on him. So it was one of the most fantastic trips that I've ever been on in my career, for sure. And it's and, and it's a beautiful piece. You can go find Tori. Find it. Uh, you can go to AtlantaFalcons.com. It's it's on there. Her last name is M-C-E-L-H-A-N-E-Y. Uh, you can find it. But you have to watch this piece. Even if you're not a Falcons fan or a sports fan, it's just the beauty of Montana that you and the mm-hmm. photographers were able to bring out. So, of course, we're going to be watching Troy there. But it's about, what? 23 minutes it's a great piece yeah no it it really is and to be able to capture the beauty of of this landscape you know i'm a georgia girl through and through i i'm from georgia i lived in georgia i work in georgia so to be able to go up and see that kind of snow because we went up in march and so it's about 17 (sighs) degrees and we're out on this cattle ranch and freezing our butts off (laughs) we had the absolute best time and i really hope that when people watch this that they they see how much the story kind of even means to us to be able to tell it Tori is a UGA graduate, speaking of, as she said, and a week from now, not a week, a month from now, on September the 7th, it's Tennessee Martin versus UGA. You did cover UGA for some time, too. Is there a possibility, Mm -hmm. as you talk, listen, as the people who are listening to you on the home of the Bulldogs, where all the games are, is there a possibility that we'll see a three-peat? Gosh, I hope so. I mean, I told you I'm a Georgia girl through and through. I went to UGA. I'm still paying student loans to UGA. <laughs> so truly, I, I would love nothing more than to, to see a 3 P because I was in school at the time and I covered the team at the time that they went to the Rose Bowl. And we were able to see that run in 2017 into 2018. And to not make it, to not get that national championship then, to now see that we've gone back-to-back years, it's something special to me considering how much I I love that university and and everything that it's brought me just as a having been a student there and so this team when I'm looking at it it's like all right like who's gonna beat this team when I'm looking at the schedule I'm like who's gonna beat this team because if they come out confident it's like I don't know man I think (laughs) I tend to feel like this this team can go the distance and it's crazy to think that it's like all right, are we talking about a three-peat? Because I'm willing to be in that conversation. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's a cookie. I don't know if they paid uh, Tennessee Martin $5 billion to play this first <laughs> game. But, yeah, well, that's the first one that's coming up. And you can hear that here on the home of the Dogs, 95.5 WSB. Before I let you go, Tori, I promised you I would tell you, aside from your great coverage of the Atlanta Falcons and that incredible piece you did on Troy Anderson that I encourage everybody to go watch, one of the reasons why, the second reason I knew I had to have you on is because finally somebody gets it. And this is what I mean. When somebody tells me a story, it doesn't matter if I'm covering it, if it's just a friend, if they're telling me some, okay, somebody's end point is I had a great time in Italy. And so mm. I've got to ask questions. I want to know, Hey, why were you there? Why, 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 why did you stop at that coffee shop? Why didn't you exchange the money? And people that get mad because I always ask why. And Tori mm. is right up my alley. 
because she gives you the why. Why, 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 why? And when I read your stuff, I don't have to ask any questions because you give me the why. Mm. How did you come oh. up with the why? Thank you for understanding. I feel like we we bonded because you get the why. And people are like, oh, my gosh, you sound like a reporter. And I'm like, I want to know why. If you're telling me you went to Italy, don't just say, hey, I was in Italy. I have to stop you and say, why were you in Italy? So how did you come up with the why, why answering the why, 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 why is of oh everything? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love this question. Thank you so much for asking me this. I mean, I, I grew up, my dad was, my, was a high school football coach at my high school for the first 17 years of my life. I was around football from the day I was born. And I think seeing him and seeing kind of getting to know the, the other coaches around him and the players that he coached, even at the high school level, I, I cared about these guys. And I think he, as I grew up, I couldn't see myself not covering football. I couldn't see a life without football. And so for me to be able to tell the stories of the guys underneath the headsets and underneath the helmets, that meant more than more to me than anything else. And I appreciate the question because that's what gives me purpose because it's like people can see that I care greatly about what it is that I do. And I, I, I really want to just tell these stories and, and to be kind of a storyteller in that. So, so thank you. I, I appreciate that greatly. Yeah, you are a great storyteller. Again, she is Tori McElhaney, M-C-E-L-H-A-N-E-Y. Follow her on social media. By all means, at least go to AtlantaFalcons.com. Uh, whatever you are going to watch tonight when this show goes off, forget that. Spend about 20 minutes <laughs> watching this fabulous piece, and it gives you all the why, 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 um, Troy Anderson, and and then follow her for great Falcon coverage, and she loves UGA, but you do know, I got to throw this in there, I'm from New York, so you do know it's about my New York Jets this year, right? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll give that to you, everybody has their allegiance, it's all good, it's all good, I respect it. Tori, if you don't mind, we'll check in with you throughout the season, thank you for taking time out on a, a Saturday to join us, and we, and we look forward to some uh, good fun with UGA, with UGA uh, the dogs and also with the Falcons and we'll continue to watch your coverage and I can read your stuff because you give me the whys. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me on and yeah, anytime you want me, just, just give me a call. Absolutely. Thank you, Tori.